Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Orange Duck. That's right, this very simple and super, super sexy duck dish also goes by the name Duck à l'Orange. But because I didn't think I was going to pronounce it well enough, I went with Orange Duck. But ironically, I should have went with Duck à l'Orange because I actually pronounced it pretty well. Or should I say Trace Bien? But regardless of what you call it, this is incredibly delicious. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you how to make it. So step one here, we're going to need a couple duck breasts. And those are going to run about 8 ounces each, roughly. And they are boneless, but as you can see, definitely skin on. That's where a lot of the flavor and richness is coming from. So we definitely want the skin, but we need to give it a little slashing before we cook it. So I want you to take your sharpest knife, and I want you to very carefully make slashes in the skin, just like you see me doing here, but do not go down to the meat. All right, if you want to go all the way through the skin, fine, but don't touch the meat. So maybe shoot for like 83, 84% of the way through the skin. So you give yourself a little room for air. And once we've gone that way, we're going to turn it and go across the other way to basically make like a crosshatch pattern. By the way, I have no idea what a crosshatch is, but we're going to score the skin of both duck breasts just like that. And what that's going to help do is let all the excess fat render out when we sear these. All right, so those are looking good. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and salt these very generously. I know it looks like a ton, but that is kosher salt, so it always looks like more than it is. But I am going to sprinkle and rub a good amount into that skin side. All right, we're also going to flip it over and do the meat side. And then we'll flip it back over skin side up. Maybe give it one more pinch. And not only is that salt going to start permeating the meat and seasoning this thing, but it's also going to draw moisture out of that skin and help it crisp up even more. And once that's salted, we're just going to let that sit out at room temperature for 15 minutes while we go ahead and get our sauce ingredients together. And for orange sauce, you need orange flavors. So we're going to use some Grand Marnier, which I believe is an orange brandy or possibly cognac. I'm not sure. And then we're also going to need some fresh orange because I need some zest. And I'm going to use two tools. One, the zester to get some nice thin strips. We'll use that to garnish with. And then we'll switch to the microplane to get some fine zest which is what we're going to start this sauce with. So let's go ahead and toss our freshly grated orange zest into a small bowl. To that, we're going to add a nice big splash of the Grand Marnier. And then after our orange liqueur, we're going to go ahead and put in some sherry vinegar. That's going to balance out the sweet. And speaking of sweet, we're going to put in a nice big spoon of orange marmalade. And I'm sorry, that was blurry. I was focused on the cutting board. That's better. So some orange marmalade. And then let's give it a little pinch of cayenne. Just a touch. Don't worry, nobody's going to know it's in there. And then last but not least, we're going to dump in about a cup of duck stock, which nobody has, including me. So we're actually going to use chicken stock or chicken broth. Then we'll go ahead and stir all that together. And believe it or not, that's all there is to the sauce. Okay, so we're going to go back to our duck breast. Now remember, these have been sitting out at room temperature, very heavily salted for 15 minutes. So there should be a bunch of moisture that comes out. So I want you to take some paper towels and pat that super dry. That's one of the secrets here to getting a nicely cooked skin. So we'll blot that off best we can. And then I'm actually going to re-season it just a touch, a little bit of kosher salt on the skin, and that is ready for the pan. Speaking of which, I want you to put a heavy-duty skillet on medium heat. And I'm going to toss in there about a tablespoon of duck fat, which you may or may not have. Very commonly sold in stores these days. But if you don't have it, you're simply going to use a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then all we're going to do is wait for this pan to preheat about two minutes. All right, I want it hot, but I don't want it super hot. And then we're going to place in our duck skin side down. And at that point, we're just going to stay on medium heat. And we're going to cook that for exactly six minutes, just like that. Just on the skin side. Like I mentioned earlier, we want to render as much fat as we can out of that skin. And I am going to season this meat side with a little extra salt and a little extra freshly ground black pepper. I mean, this is a pretty thick piece of meat. It's going to be difficult to overseason. And by the way, I'm saying medium heat, but it's probably a hair over medium towards medium high. But don't worry so much about the setting. Look how it's bubbling. See how that's sizzling? Try to adjust your heat until something like that's happening. And then, like I said, we're going to cook that for six minutes on the skin side. And then we're going to flip them over. And it's going to look fairly gorgeous. There are very few things as beautiful and enticing as a searing duck breast. And then we're going to go ahead and set our timer for four minutes. And theoretically, after six minutes on the skin and four minutes on the meat, it should be cooked to a perfect medium, which is what I'm shooting for. And I'll go ahead and put an internal temperature on the blog. But really, I'm not even getting out the thermometer. Because for your standard butcher shop duck breasts, they're generally about 8 ounces each. This 10 minutes total cooking time is going to get you extremely close. Plus, you can always use the old poke test like you do with a steak. All right, duck breast like this is going to feel almost exactly like a steak when it's medium. So mostly I'm going by time here, but I'm also checking by giving it the old poka poka. And right about here I decided these are perfect. So I'm going to turn off the heat. We're going to pull those out of the pan to rest on a plate for at least 10 minutes. 
And the beauty of letting those rest a little bit is we have time to make our delicious orange sauce. So go ahead and pour off that excess duck fat into a bowl. And you're going to want to save that. Don't throw that away. That's against the law in some states and all of Europe. And then we'll put that what's now fairly dry pan back on the heat. And before we add our sauce mixture, we're going to go ahead and dump in one teaspoon of flour. Yes, you heard right. Just a tiny amount of flour. I'm going to stir that into the little bit of duck fat still stuck to the pan. And we're only going to cook that about one minute. All right, just going to take the raw edge off that flour. And then go ahead and dump in your sauce mixture. And don't worry, it's not going to flame up. There's not enough alcohol in there. And at this point, go ahead and turn your heat up to medium high. And we'll give that a stir. And then all we're going to do is let this come up to a boil. And of course, we're working that over with a whisk or a spoon, making sure all that delicious caramelized goodness is coming up off the bottom of that pan, dissolving into that sauce. And then you know the old pan sauce drill. We're simply going to let this boil. We're going to reduce this down until it resembles something that looks like that. And when it has reduced down to that stage... I want you to go ahead and turn your heat to the lowest setting possible. And as soon as you see it stop bubbling, we're going to go ahead and finish with a small chunk of butter. So we're going to toss that in, and we're simply going to keep the pan moving until the butter disappears. And as soon as that butter's gone, your sauce should be done. Go ahead and turn off the heat, and you can see the texture here with a spoon that's just about perfect. In fact, you know what? I changed my mind. That is perfect. And of course, you're going to taste this for salt. It's probably perfect if you generously salted the duck breast like I told you, but you have to check it. You are the Wolfgang Puck of your orange duck. And at that point, we're ready to slice our rested duck and eat. We're going to slice that across like this. And you will see that six minutes on the skin side plus the four minutes on the meat side gives you just an absolutely beautiful, moist, tender, perfectly pink duck. And it's kind of hard to see here with the glare as I'm cutting. But when we put this on the plate, you're going to see this is just absolutely spot on. And if you think that's beautiful, wait until you spoon over that sauce. I mean, that is almost too good looking. People might not believe you made it. And once that's sauce, we're going to finish up with our long strips of zest we did earlier. And by the way, a little food styling tip, do not try to arrange these garnishes. When you're putting things on like nuts or herbs or zest like this, don't try to arrange it. Otherwise, it's going to look overworked and contrived. So just let everything fall where it may. Although I do think this one's going to work better right here. But anyway, we're going to randomly scatter a few pieces of orange zest. And that orange duck is done. And as incredibly simple and fast as it was to make, the taste of that sauce and the texture of that duck is going to blow you away. That sweet tart sauce, the perfect foil for the rich duck meat with that beautifully brown semi-fatty skin. And yes, I say semi-fatty because even though you score it and cooked it using proper techniques, unless you want this well done, you're never really going to render all the duck fat out of that skin. But you can see here, most of it did render out. And for whatever reason, if you're not already enjoying duck breast, but you do like steak, you really need to go find some duck breast. Believe it or not, you may actually like it better than steak. I'm just saying it's a possibility, okay? So I really do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.